Trinity B1 ISC1 Four Skills Test CELT Secure English Language Tests B1 English Test ISC1 Skilled Worker Health and Care Worker Scale-Up Worker Student Visas uh, What is the total time duration of the test according to you? Maybe a total five five hours. No. Five hours is a lot. The total time duration for the test is two hours and 18 minutes. Okay. 18 well, minutes for speaking and listening. Two okay. hours for reading and writing. And this uh -huh. test is for integrated skills in English. Speaking and listening comes together. So okay. today in this class, we're going to first talk about speaking and listening. Then I'll take you to reading and writing. Mm -hmm. um, what topic would you like to pick for yourself? For uh, uh, speaking? Yes. We can use uh, any topic, for example. Yeah, any topic. But I want to suggest something easy to you. You can go with the topic myself. Myself or my family? Uh, my family, if you can talk about it, it's fine. Otherwise, hobbies is a good topic. Okay, myself is. Okay. So in this one, if we want to pick myself, you can choose one point, my family. Second point. My favorite, my hobbies. My, my, my hobbies, okay. More. Uh, music, we can uh, add My music. favorite music, okay. And? You also asked me. Repeat yourself, please. You suggest me. Uh, there are a couple of op options like my favorite place, my favorite food, uh, my favorite uh, outdoor activity, anything, my my friends even, whatever you want to choose. My favorite uh, activities. You can also choose any place, like my favorite park, my favorite shopping center. Yeah, my my, my 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 favorite shopping center, maybe. And if you're fond of watching films, then that is also a good option, like my favorite films, right? Okay. Um, but anyways, if you think this is fine. Do you understand? Yeah, the speaking test is only six minutes long. Do you understand? Only? Six minutes. That is all. After six minutes, the test is over. This, this particular session is for four minutes. Okay? Examiner will keep questioning you about your topic and your topic points, like my family, my hobbies, my favorite music, and my favorite shopping center for four minutes continuously examiner will question you okay 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 and after that examiner will choose a topic of his or her choice and now i'm going to tell you what topics the examiner can choose okay for you for two uh, the next two minutes the examiner can choose for you the topic rules at your work these are conversation topics. They're right in here. Okay, first one is rules. Rules at your work, at your work, home, country, right? Uh, rules, school, college. Examiner can ask you about your favorite special occasion, you know. So the question could be special occasion like 
Diwali, Eid, Holy, uh, birthdays, wedding, celebrations and stuff. These are called special occasions. Special days are called special occasions. Examiner can okay. ask you about traveling and transport in this Part. Examiner can choose for two minutes to have a conversation with you. Conversation. Traveling and mm -hmm. transport. Examiner can choose uh, your recent visit to a place, you know, your recent visit to a shopping center, a town, your recent visit to a place, recent visit uh, to a place. Examiner can also ask you about any celebration, you know, like any birthday, recent birthday celebration. Mm -hmm. Examiner can ask you about different ways or different methods of learning English, right? Different ways. Okay. Different ways of learning English, learning English. Now, uh, remember that there's one point included in this that is called entertainment. Now, in that entertainment point, examiner can ask you about, um, examiner can easily ask you about your your favorite music, your favorite films, yeah? Your favorite sports even okay. so entertainment is a topic that means activities for fun um that might include your favorite music and films and sports um and besides that besides that i've never seen the examiner questioning anything different yeah i've actually seen uh, and heard about this one as well that is health and fitness okay health okay. And, and fitness. fitness. Uh, can you read these points for conversation? Then I'll try to think of more. Yeah, I already read. Allowed. And I, I got a picture. Uh, myself, uh, my hobbies, my favorite music, my favorite shopping center, my family, entertainment, music, film, sports, health and fitness, Conversation topics, um, rules at your work, home, co country, school, college, special occasion, recent visit to place, traveling, and transport, and any celebration, different ways of learning English. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I think one might could be holiday or going okay. for a holiday. Okay, I don't think so. Anything else besides this? Because I've never I, seen it. He can ask me ask my job. Yes, rules at your work. You know, may mainly the questions are about rules at work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyways, uh, take a photo of this, and now we're gonna move to the mock test. Mm -hmm. This is Trinity College, London, ISC 1B1. Speaking and listening tests. Integrated skills in English. My name's Angelina, and I am your interlocutor for your speaking and listening test today. What's your full name? My name is Gurjan Singh. What's your topic's title for today? My topic is uh, myself. What are your four topic points? Uh, my hobbies, my favorite music, my favorite shopping center, my family. What kind of music do you like? Sorry? What kind of music do you like? Uh, I like uh, Gurbani music in Sikh religion. Uh, so I I did uh, study in a music. So 
इसके लिए आप मुझे तो थोड़ा आप प्रिपेयर कर सकते हो दे सकते हो कोई जस्ट स्पीक जस्ट स्पीक राइट नाउ जस्ट इफ यू डोंट नो जस्ट स्पीक आई वांट टू चेक इफ यू कैन पास और नॉट जस्ट स्पीक ओके आई विल स्टार्ट ओवर आई विल स्टार्ट अगेन लुक आई एम गोना सेट अ टाइमर फॉर 4 मिनट्स आई विल स्टार्ट ओवर ओके जस्ट फॉर 4 मिनट्स यू नीड टू कंटिन्यू दिस दैट्स इट ओके दिस इज ट्रिनिटी कॉलेज लंदन ISC one B one integrated skills in English. My mm. name is Angelina. What's your full name? My name is Gurjan Singh. What's your topic title for today? My topic is myself. What are your four topic points? my hobbies my favorite music my favorite shopping center my family okay um uh, what are your hobbies my hobbies is uh go to gym and learning music and studying mm okay Would you rather do outdoor activities in your free time or stay at home? Free time, sometimes I I watch movie and sometimes go to a park and shopping center. Okay. Do you think family is important if yes why Yes family is very important uh cause with family we can do everything and f- with the family um uh, we are very enjoying life uh family is uh, uh, sport sporting for a mentally uh, okay right uh, okay so how many people are there in your family uh my family i have a, a, a three person my wife including me and my four four months old baby Okay. Uh, what activities do you enjoy doing with your family? Um, we uh, doing the uh, food, um, preparing, uh, and carrying a baby. Sometimes we go to a uh, watching movie and going to a shopping center. and sometimes uh if we are free we we'll go to a near park tell me about your favorite shopping center and how often do you go there uh in my nearly house uh i have a uh, too many shopping centers but uh tesco is a uh, very cheap and near my ho- house we can go by a car and for uh, yes okay all right how do you travel to your favorite shopping center uh we can go by a car Okay. Thank you. You've passed your first part. Congratulations. Thank you. Pass, sir. Now, let's move Thank to you. the second part of the test. In this part of the test, we're going to have a small 2 minutes conversation about the type of music you like. What kind of music you like? Um, I like all the music, but um uh, I my favorite music is 
Gurbani Kirtan uh, in my Sikh religion. Uh, I I love the music, and I am also um, did a uh, MA in uh, music. Hmm. Okay, tell me about. Uh, an experience of going to a music concert yeah i i had too many concerts uh, and last last uh, last week i went to a uh, leeds um, for uh, my concert i did uh, uh kirtan here in uh, gurdwara sahib and uh, we celebrate a uh, samagam uh, of a little little one and we celebrate a birthday with a, a music prayer we are um, i'm sing i did singing here and all the people are enjoying and we eating and i i come back my home okay could you ask me one or two questions about music? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, could you ask me one or two questions about music? Uh, which one is your favorite music? Can you tell me which one is your uh, favorite music? I like pop music. One more question, please. Uh, a, lit a little pop music? Repeat your question. Uh, relative, relative music. Rel recently? No, I don't understand. Repeat. Uh, which song you like? Uh, uh, which is song is your favorite? I like uh, "Perfect" by Shireen. Thank you. Thank you so much, Guruji. Gurjan, Gurjan, yeah, you can call Gurjan, me. Gurjan, you are so good. I don't know why you were afraid. The speaking is a piece of cake for you. You can pass this uh, without an issue. Thank you. Okay, now let's I'm, 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 listening test. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Ready? Yeah. I have said the first time I said English. तो मैंने कभी नहीं बोला अगर मैं थोड़ा आप टॉपिक दोगे है ना मैं उसके पर प्रिपरेशन कर लूँगा। There's no need to prepare, just be yourself, okay? It's okay. If I will ask you more questions. Try to answer. Maybe tomorrow when I will take a mock test with you, I will ask you about rules at work. You know, maybe then I will guide you. If there is something wrong, I will tell you. But there's nothing wrong. You know English. You should be confident. Yeah. And 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 uh, there's no need to give a very long answer, okay? Because just six minutes. So, uh, if you feel okay. that you, what type of music do you like? So you can just say, yeah, I like religious music. That's all, right? The examiner will ask okay. you the next question. Then you don't have to talk for long minutes. Okay, thank you. Yeah, you're very good, sir. I don't know why you're afraid. You're very very good. I mean. Flawless. I mean, I believe you will get a high pass in your speaking. Very fluent. Yeah. Okay, okay, anyways, now let's move to the next part of the test. I grab a pen and a paper. I'm going to play uh, some recordings for you. Part one. I will play a recording about festivals. I will play twice. You will listen to the recording and take your notes. Mm -hmm. Then, once the recording will end, I'll ask you six questions about the recording. ISC 1, Task 1. Hello, everyone. Today, 
I want to tell you about the Brighton Festival. Has anyone ever been to it? <laughs> Then I'll tell you something about it. Well, first of all, the Brighton Festival is a festival of the arts. I know most of you are interested in that. There has been a festival in Brighton since 1967. The Brighton Festival first started so that more people could enjoy theatre. Wasn't that a good idea? Today, the Brighton Festival begins with a children's day. It's lovely to see them enjoying themselves. In fact, about 5,000 children take part in the children's day. One final thing to tell you is that the Brighton Festival lasts for a month. So that's plenty of time to see some interesting shows. Now, let's watch a short film about some of the early festivals in Brighton. Now listen again. Hello everyone. Today, I want to tell you about the Brighton Festival. Has anyone ever been to it? <laughs> Then I'll tell you something about it. Well, first of all, the Brighton Festival is a festival of the arts. I know most of you are interested in that. There has been a festival in Brighton since 1967. The Brighton Festival first started so that more people could enjoy theatre. Wasn't that a good idea? Today, the Brighton Festival begins with a children's day. It's lovely to see them enjoying themselves. In fact, about 5,000 children take part in the Children's Day. One final thing to tell you is that the Brighton Festival lasts for a month. So that's plenty of time to see some interesting shows. Now, let's watch a short film about some of the early festivals in Brighton. All right, now I'll ask Hello? you some questions, yeah? And he, uh, which minute, you, audio look good, okay I, w i can play it again no, no 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 problem you can ask me um, a question no problem okay so what sort of festival is the brighton festival Sorry? what sort of festival is the brighton festival um, brighton I festival okay wait wait just to make you understand let me play another recording for you i'm going to play a recording about chickens okay listen carefully hold on twice i'll play twice isc1 task one in today's lesson we're going to learn some unusual facts about chickens maybe i can surprise you with some facts you might not know first of all There are about 25 billion chickens in the world. And it's quite amazing that the chicken is similar to a very big dinosaur. I've never thought about that. Have you? Now let's move on to their eggs. To produce good eggs, chickens need to drink about half a liter of water a day. Another interesting fact is that a chicken will look after another bird's eggs. Did you know that? There are even some chickens which produce blue eggs. And finally, in some places in the world, people keep chickens because they believe the birds will bring them good luck. And now, we're going to watch a short film about chickens around the world. Now listen again. In today's lesson, We're going to learn some unusual facts about chickens. Maybe I can surprise you with some facts you might not know. First of all, there are about 25 billion chickens in the world. And it's quite amazing that the chicken is similar to a very big dinosaur. I've never thought about that. Have you? Now let's move on to their eggs. To produce good eggs, Chickens need to drink about half a liter of water a day. Another interesting fact is that a chicken will look after another bird's eggs. Did you know that? There are even some chickens which produce blue eggs. And finally, 
In some places in the world, people keep chickens because they believe the birds will bring them good luck. And now we're going to watch a short film about chickens around the world. All right, now I'll ask you some questions about chickens. Ready. About how many billions chickens are there in the world? 25 billion. Thank you. Which animal from the past is similar to a chicken? Dinosaur. How much water do chickens need to drink every day to produce good eggs? Half liter water. Thank you. What will a chicken do with another bird's eggs? Do you eggs? Uh, it will look after the eggs. Oh, look. Uh, okay. Okay, what color eggs do some chickens produce? Blue eggs. Why do some people keep chickens? Uh, they like a, a bird. And making mm -hmm. a short videos. Okay, because they bring good luck. Anyways, out of six, you just need to give three correct answers and you've given me five correct answers. Congratulations. Passed. Yeah. Now we'll move to the second part of the listening. In this part of the listening, I will be playing a recording about Bhutan for you, okay? You will listen to the recording and not take any notes. And listen okay. to the recording and tell me in few words what is this recording about. Let's listen. ISC 1, Task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness this is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Yes, could you please tell me what is this recording about in few words? Uh, I'm listening for a uh, Bhutan country. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Now I'll play the recording once again. This time you are allowed to take notes. You can write your notes. And I want you to write down six important facts about the recording. Once the recording will end, then I would ask you to tell me those things. Okay? Okay. Okay. Yeah, let's listen now. ISC 1, task 2. Today we're going to learn about a country called Bhutan. Only about 800,000 people live in Bhutan, but amazingly, those people speak 24 different languages. What about the environment? About 72% of the country is forest. The government has made a lot of laws to protect animals. The people in Bhutan are not allowed to use plastic bags. Many of the cars in the country are electric. There's an unusual thing about the capital of Bhutan. 
It doesn't have any traffic lights. Instead, policemen show drivers when to stop. These policemen have to wear special white gloves to do this. What about the people? If you go to Bhutan, you can see people wearing traditional dress. And here's another interesting thing. Every year, the government asks the people about their happiness. This is because they think happiness is more important than money. So, do you want to visit Bhutan? Yes, could you please tell me six facts about Bhutan? Okay. Uh, uh, there is uh, uh, 800,000 uh, people. Uh, mm. There is uh, 24 uh, different languages and 72% uh, uh, forest area. Uh, and uh, they use uh, plastic bags. Um, uh, in country, no traffic lights. Uh, and uh, the police officer uh, use uh, white gloves. Uh, and uh, uh, in the capital city, there are too many electrical cars. Good job, sir. Very nice. Now I'll ask you some more questions. Uh, what can you see people wearing in Bhutan? Um, they wearing uh, uh, traditional um, clothes. Hmm, good. Okay, and uh, probably how much of Bhutan is forest? 72%. Congratulations, sir. You've passed your speaking and listening with a distinction. Go party. Leave this class immediately. I don't think so. You will have to take 10 classes. You'll be ready in five. I don't think so. You need more. Thank, I hope so. so. Just within five classes, you'll be more than ready. Thank you. Thank you so much.